going on guys this is another episode of design theater today we are looking at I believe his name is Sung Eun Kim I'm not sure I'm, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right this guy's a Korean artist I apologize to the uh, if I'm butcher this guy's name uh, but this guy's a Korean artist I believe he's an animation director I know he's done some stuff in comics and, and in animation as well I think he did work on the boondocks but anyway, I've been looking at a lot of different artists and looking at the way it is that they draw the anatomy. And I really like the way it is that this guy does his work. And so I wanted to show it. I wanted to show it to you guys today. I think he's got some really brilliant work. I love this kind of like Korean pulp fiction kind of vibe it is that he has going on with his work. The faces look uh, incredibly detailed but when you get close and you actually look at the faces like there's not really that much detail that's going on he's just really good at like blocking in the shadows you know it basically looks like he has four tones he has a skin tone he has a shadow tone a dark shadow tone and then a light shadow tone and then I'll and a light right but it looks the faces are realistically proportioned but he does it in this kind of anime style with this very fine line and mixing that with with these flats I just really love it I love the way that he does that and he he's thinking very much about the design of the silhouette of the face you know you can see it in the hair it's it's very graphic in the way that he um, portrays his characters Another thing it is that I noticed just from looking at this this particular piece, we can see that the character in the front uh, he has the most saturation, and then we get less saturated as we go back. You know, there's like an atmospheric perspective. And one of the cool things that he does is he likes to take the the background character and he drops him into a uh, like a blur. Right, this guy back here, he's he's much more of a blur. He's got a blur effect on him. He's obviously doing this stuff digitally. Right. But there's an added sense of depth that he's using this, this blur effect. So let's go ahead and let's go to the next one. Yeah, these are some of the face studies that he's done. I mean, the faces just look awesome. I love the variety and just the expressions. I mean, he's really a master at being able to convey this these emotions you know he's kind of got like this he had these great faces that just look like somebody's in the middle of saying something right it's great here's another one I'm, I'm assuming this is for some sort of an animation project that he must be doing uh, he does a does a really good job of capturing these kind of mood boards and I, and I like also how he experiments with the way it is that he does his shadows you know he he takes these half tones and he drops these colors into them that are contrasting against this yellow it's like the whole background has this kind of yellow half tone to it and then he's using and that, and that kind of gives it a warm feel and then he's using um, he's using these purples to contrast against the warmth of the yellow with the coolness of the purple. And then you look closer at it, and he's doing some interesting stuff with the line work too. He's got he's got these red lines, and then he's got these green lines that go next to it. And one of the things that I've noticed, one of the things that is that I've learned is depending on what color you put next to another color they can have a different kind of effect so when you put colors like that together that kind of have a they have like a, a contrast to them such as red and green it gives it this kind of vibrational kind of feel you know like when you pull back from this illustration you can kind of see it it almost kind of has like a especially this side especially the 
left side of this guy's head, where this green and this red line are, it has kind of like this hallucinatory kind of effect to it, like almost like a hologram or holographic effect or something. We've got some more gangsters here. Again, he's just got that awesome style. And then you get in close and you look and you see that he he's also put like a noise filter over these images and that kind of keeps it from it, it kind of gives it like this 1990s kind of vibe like a 1990s cartoon kind of vibe yeah I mean super dope stuff let's go ahead and get through some of these next ones so this must be this is kind of him experimenting and trying to figure out how it is that he's going to develop this style. So he's taking images and he's he's going through and breaking them down and figuring out how he's going to uh, what, how is he going to define each of these individual shapes of the shadows. So that's how he's learning how to do this. He's he's definitely looking at reference whenever he's doing this. He's not just doing it for the sake of doing it. It's another interesting effect that he has where he has this light hitting these light shapes here, but we can see that the light shapes are not as defined as like these shadow shapes, right? Shadow shapes have these very strong border around them. And these don't. These have more it has more of a glow kind of effect, like his skin is being hit with with light. And it looks like he does that on all of these. Yeah, he's doing it on all of these. It's another really cool image. Again, he's got that depth of field going on where he's got his foreground characters. Uh, you know, they they have um, they've got a noise filter on them for sure. There's, there's so many cool things that are going on here that create this effect. For one, it, it, there's noise filter on his on his characters, and it looks like it's a black and white noise. That gives it some depth. Uh, so does the the style. You know, it has this anime style, but it, it the features are realistic, and so it has this really cool kind of like cartoon effect. Right? I feel like I've seen this cartoon before, but I. I couldn't really place it. Um, the facial expressions, obviously the poses, they all tell the story, but then you also can see that he has a depth of field. The, that this foreground character here, he's got a darker highlight around him, and we see that the characters, as they go further back into the image, they become more and more blurred. You know, you have this second layer here, and you can tell that there's a little bit of a blur to them, but not really. It's only until we get to the third layer in that now we are blending into the crowd. So this is this is a good way that he creates this depth of field. Again, another another image where he's really playing up this depth of field. You know, he's got like a background back here. It's completely. completely blurred out and, and then this front figure here is also blurred out his hand is his arms are this all gives a, a really good sense of movement more faces I mean this guy really can get a good likeness and he's using some sort of oops he's using some sort of I don't know what kind of brush he's using, but it seems like some sort of crosshatch brush or something like that. It's another cool one. More faces, going for that same cartoonish kind of look. All right. He's really good at getting these likenesses and really capturing this feeling that this is like it feels like an, a still from from an animation movie 
you know, this feels like a still from a Pulp Fiction anime or something like that, like, his quality of drawing is just phenomenal. We have some storyboards here. Again, we can see that depth of motion here. So you can see that as an animation artist, he's taken some of the skills and some of the things he's learned and brought them to, to illustration whenever he does his, does his own pieces. I think that's it. I think that's all it is that I got. Oh, I got one more. I'll go ahead and close it out at this. The, I guess this is some sequential work of his. Hellboy. Yeah. Very cool stuff. Alright guys, I will be back tomorrow, same time, uh, with a new video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Take it easy.